Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's resume our complete beginner's guide to green hell, shall we? So we've woken up, it's a new day, and what we want to do, we've already saved it, so we're good to go, is try to address some things that you'll immediately see ticking down. So fats are a huge issue, the green bar on your radial there because the fish that we can get do not provide fats. So we need to go find some ways to get ourselves uh, some fat. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest this. I'm just going to get as many sticks as I can from this log, whatever I can pick up. Now, additionally, what I want to do with us at this point is get water, a better way of securing water. All right, we got no room for sticks, which is sweet. So these can actually happen simultaneously. And what I mean is we can get fat and water provided we uh, find the right item. And so to do that, we need to go across this bridge. Now, we have been kind of not doing this because, like I told you, things get a little harder as you cross this because there's more concerns. Uh, there are snakes and poison dart frogs over on this side, but with risk comes reward. So the further you go, you get more technology, you get more stuff. And what we're doing is just kind of looking around uh, to see what's out here. So uh, we've got some, you know, banana stuff going on. Are there any bananas? Mm. Not that I see. And pay attention over here. Here is some bananas. Take, 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 take. Okay. Already? I don't know if you heard that, but that was a rattlesnake in the grass back there. It did not bite us because we would be in a bad way. But what I did was when I heard the rattlesnake, I just slowly moved away. Uh, but let's go see if we can find it. There it is. Right? Or, no, I'm not seeing it right. What time is it? Yeah, it's 4 p.m. It's getting a little hard to see. I thought that was the snake. Anyway, <laughs> when you hear a snake, what I like to do is just move away. And you can beat a snake with the spear, but you need to see it. So if it's like in this open area of the undergrowth, okay, no problem. But if it's you know, got all sorts of plants and things, and it's hard to see the snake? No, thank you. All right. So, I'm going to go over this way. We got some bananas, which is great. Another thing we want to look out for is a source of fat. So, I'm going to kind of move over here. Now, what I recommend is moving nice and slowly. So, if you hear the rattlesnake, you can react, because they don't really want to bite you. They're, like, just going in defense mode. So, if you back away from them, like, there's one right there. You can see it. So you could see the rattlesnake. You could see it shaking its rattle right there. And if you want, you can get it with your spear. They cannot come close enough to get you if you stay far away. And you could take down the rattlesnake. And that is a South American rattlesnake, which we will harvest. So when you harvest, you automatically equip whatever knife you have. And we have this like terrible stone knife, but we get it. And so we get some meat, and our harvesting animal skill went up. Now, what I'm looking for over here, though, the reason I came over here is because I'm looking for coconuts. So you want to look up at some of these um, mature palm trees and just look way up in the canopy and see if there's any coconuts. Because coconuts are the game changer that we need. We can use them. You can not only drink the water in a coconut. I'm going to take some rope. But you can use the coconut itself to eat just the coconut for fat. And you can use the bowl to boil water on your campfire to purify it so that there's no parasites. So it serves like all sorts of great purposes. Now sometimes there, it's random. There are uh, coconuts on that particular palm tree over there. I found them there. But if not, we can just press on ahead. Now here are some... San Okay, do you hear that?
sometimes you will hear some like indigenous people singing and that is alarming we don't want to have anything to do with fighting one of those i've been killed by not all of them are hostile remember there's two groups but oh there was a little animal that ran away uh in general it just starts to unnerve you and at least it unnerves me we're okay for now i'm gonna move this way down the hill there's a bunch of like rodents and mammals small mammals on the ground there that you can try to fight uh, for some food if you want they're not going to fight you back you just hit them but i'm more concentrating on right here there's an armadillo that's right here that you'll see and the armadillo is actually pretty easy to kill it'll always be right there and we'll harvest it and we get some meat but also, if I go into my backpack, uh, and I'm going to sort it up. Uh, let's see. Oops, wrong thing here. Let's go into some of these other... Mm, looks like I didn't get any hide from the armadillo. Anyway, um, I'll have to look at my stuff. we got an unknown mushroom. Perfect. And I'm still just kind of poking around right here, looking... There's a rattlesnake. You can see it shaking its rattle right there, looking for coconuts. So rattlesnakes become really difficult for me because... Um, I'm dirty, by the way. I will be, like, walking around looking for coconuts up in the sky, and I will not see the rattlesnake, and it will, like, get to drop on me, and it's really embarrassing. So we got to pay attention to the fact that there was one over there. And unfortunately, it's getting really, really late. So I'm going to go back. It's getting far too dark. I do not want to be out at night. Um, imagine trying to walk around when you can't really see the snakes and stuff. Plus, you've got to keep an eye on your uh, fatigue meter. Because you don't want to just pass out. So I like to early on just not go too far. Just kind of like have a few plans for the day and then head back home. Because we need to get back immediately. If I look at my vitals, um, we're okay on pretty much everything actually. We have enough food. And once you cross that bridge, usually on this side you don't have to worry about snakes. Our fire is miraculously still going. Let's look at the gauge on it. Oh, God. I built my house in, like, the worst place. Um, okay, it's got plenty. So I'm going to go, and I'm going to uh, open my backpack, and I'm going to go to the uh, fire tab, and I'm just going to go ahead and put this plank on. Give me a bunch, and then... I'm going to go over, and what we can do is add some sticks, because we have so many, just to get more time on here. Great. And then I'm going to go to the food tab, and I'm going to, uh, I need to be aimed at something else, but I can just push X to pick this up and just drop that on there. And then I can push X to cook this rattlesnake meat, get that going. All right, so the, the meat is cooking up. And, uh... What kind of shrooms do I have again? Do I have any parasite shrooms? I do, and I have a bunch. So I'm going to quickly go drink before night. You see how sometimes if it's a clear sky and you get that moonlight, you have no problem seeing, which is terrific. I'm going to head over here. I want to get back quickly. I don't want that uh, meat to burn, but I'm going to move over here. And I'm just going to kind of clean myself off. I'm going to hold X to drink. We got two uh, parasites that time. I'm going to expand. I'm going to wash myself. 
And I'm going to go to this, and we'll just go ahead and uh, eat the Paragon and eat again. So you see we had two stacks of the nasty stomach-looking thing, but we were able to eat those shrooms to just get rid of it. And now we have enough to drink. We're getting really tired, but luckily we're home. Uh, I'm going to pick up all these sticks and stuff that I can, and let's go check on our meat. Jumping is like killing my uh, energy. Uh, I'm going to just eat that rattlesnake meat. And you can see at this point, we're set. We actually could eat a little bit more. Uh, this is still cooking. Do I want to cook anything else? Probably. God. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Um, here. There you go. Drop that on there. Great. Now I'm going to take this. Now what I'm going to do is go over here and I'm going to um, open my backpack with L1 and I'm going to say, all right, we have this mushroom. We don't know what it does. I'm just going to eat it. And this gave me two energy, five carbohydrates. So that's the energy mushroom. So that mushroom doesn't do anything bad and it just gives you energy back. It's actually very useful. I like it a lot. And once, uh, let me add some wood to this. Once that cooks, I'm going to just take it, and then I'm going to um, save the game and sleep. So it's about 6 in the morning here. It was actually, a you could see, wow, the sun rising in the jungle. I mean, it'd be beautiful if it weren't for the horrifying circumstance. And again, I'm just going to keep this fire going because I love it. So I'm just going to add some sticks and stuff. There's plenty of sticks. Surprisingly, there's plenty of sticks in the jungle. Who knew? We got it going, and I'm going to go back to where we were. We're just going to keep looking for coconuts. That's the next main thing that I want us to acquire. Uh, it just makes everything so much easier. Okay. Stick. Sweet. Also, uh, it got so dark because of the rain and everything that we couldn't really look, but... There can be um, nuts on the ground that are not coconuts, but they're just nuts that we can eat to get fat, which is another great way to just kind of forage for fat. Now, there are animals that can give fat that uh, are bigger animals, like the fish are too lean, of course, but um, there are, you know, some... Maybe the armadillo, maybe the rattlesnake gave a little bit of fat, but there's like some piggies and stuff that we can find uh, that give more. And they're not really piggies, I just call them that. All right. And, oh, we have a leech on us. We just lost three sanity. Look at that. You can see the magnifying glass, so we need to um, go here, go to our examine, and let's kind of rotate ourselves around. Where is this leech at? Probably on a leg, right? Yep. Get out of here. And another one. So just kind of walking through the grass. All right. Okay, leech is gone, and again, I'm still moving slowly through this area because of rattlesnakes. <laughs> I don't want to find one. That was a little hard for me. Okay. And let's see.
Now, I don't know what exactly the respawn time is on that armadillo, but we got him. It might be a long time. Anyway, uh, we're going to go through here, and I'm just going to check all of these trees and see if there's any coconuts. Now, sometimes you can find a coconut that's fallen down, but I'm not going to go that way because I don't want any poison dart frogs. Now, so far in my experience, as long as you don't try to pick up the poison dart frogs, you're okay. Oh, look, right here, it just happened. Just dropped down. So you see this guy right here, this kind of like smaller um, palm-looking dude? It dropped this unknown nut. And uh, this can, you know, we can garden. We can make our own planting box, which is like the long con. But for now, if I just open up my backpack and go to food, and I just eat one of these, you see it gives you 15 fats. And it's so vital for us to uh, have that. You can see right now, we're still... I need to eat both of them. And um, I also need to eat this rattlesnake meat. My carbs are actually low, so let's eat a banana. And none of this gives us fat, by the way. You you can see... Um, well, this is fish meat. Let's see what... Uh, the armadillo meat gave us 22 proteins, 15 energy, and 3 sanity. Which is great, but no fat again. So that's why those nuts are so important. So you kind of look for this guy right here, and then look on the ground around it. So we could even look for some more right here. Just make sure there's no snakes. And come on, coconut. Want to buy a coconut. Now, sometimes, um, let's just say, like, okay, we're not seeing a coconut. You could, you know, if you wanted, just get your axe out and just bap them. And, you know... Pray to the coconut. Oh, wait, is that one? No. I can't rightly tell. You could see the animals in the water. There's some frogs. There's some crabs. All right. But sadly, this area is usually pretty good for finding... Um, coconuts in my experience but yep okay see that guy that's definitely something that will give us fat if we hunt it and kill it i believe uh but we need a bow and arrow for that and that's actually not hard to make we need a lot of feathers sometimes you can find like dead birds and stuff just god damn it oh my god all right, we got spider. Oh, oh, ants. Okay, ants are... That's an ant mound. Oh, that's what, what that was. Okay, that's actually pretty terrible. All right, so we got to go quickly to inspect. And um, let's see. Yep, yep. Okay, so you see how uh, on our leg over here, we got this, like, death rash. And that's from the ants. Now, this will just go away over time. You can apply, like, you know, a bandage to it if you have something. Uh, that's a nasty sound. Okay. That's bad. This is going to be us dying. Okay. Even though we fought that guy off, it's going to be too much for us. I don't think I have enough bandages even close. Yeah, I have none. So, 
this is going to be why we saved a game. I haven't honestly seen uh, a Jaguar in that area that early in the game, but that's bad for us. So, uh, you know. <laughs> that can happen in this game, and what we have to do is just load it and make sure that we'll gather some bandages uh, to use on ourselves. Because, I mean, I could inspect all day long, you know, see lacerations on myself, like, ow, you know, uh, we got hit, but I don't have anything that I can do at the moment. And that's, like, uh, you know, the problem with uh, me not providing enough. I've been trying to get these coconuts and not securing some of our other basic needs. So that's what we get. And that's okay. It's part of the game. So what we want to do um, as our character dies is when we re get reborn. All right, so let's try day two again and not get killed by a jaguar. So what we know is there's a jaguar over there. And we need to be prepared for it in some capacity. So what we could do is try with this, uh, you know, we could make a weak spear, but what if we add some rope to a long stick? We can make a bow. I'm going to do that. I'm gonna make us a bow. And we don't have any feathers, but if we can get some feathers, we will be able to, uh, secure arrows which will make us able to uh, hunt some of those piggies those are kind of like they might be capybaras I, I'm not sure what they are we'll have to look at them uh, when we get up close in the water because those dudes will provide us with not only protein but some fat which is great um, but we want to be mindful of things we want to get those nuts to get some fat but we also want to make sure that we aren't getting killed by a jaguar and that we don't walk in that ant mound. And we'd love to find coconuts, but sometimes it's not as easy as uh, you'd like it to be. You just have to kind of keep looking. So when we come down here, we know that... Uh, no nuts by this guy, but that there's definitely some nuts over here. You could see him just drop right away. Now I'm going to get these and I'm going to walk away. I'm not going to get hit by that anthill, and I'm not going to fight the jaguar at the moment. Let's go over here instead. And I'm going to go into my backpack, and we're going to go to the food tab, and we are going to uh, eat this. Eat this, eat this, eat that, and uh, eat that. And then that should basically balance out everything but some water and some fat. So very good. Now I'm going to move up this way. And as we do, you still need to just be listening to the jungle. Do you hear the jaguar growling? Do you hear a rattlesnake? Uh... Was that just me walking through the bush, or was that Rattlesnake Man, right? And let's get our knife. Okay. Oh. Take a stick, sure. I am really looking for... Uh... some molinara or whatever t to make a bandage so that we can patch ourselves up if we do get mauled by a jaguar, which, as we've seen, can happen. Regrettably. All right. Um...
also, we're looking... Here's a rattlesnake. I mean, honestly, at this point, when we see the rattlesnake, it's just like an easy meal for us with a spear. So that's good. So you can fish or, you know, hunt snakes. It can be dangerous, of course. There's larva there if you're really interested in it. And any nuts down by this guy? No. I saw a bunch of mushrooms back there. Let me get them. These are, I think, the energy mushrooms, which are great. Help you stay out longer. Help you get home if you need a little boost. Uh, these are the uh, parasite be gone mushrooms, which are so good. Now remember, these things go bad in your backpack, so you it's it's great to find them, but you want to kind of oh my god, there it is, coconut. Yes, we want to definitely eat them before they go bad. All right, so there's two coconuts. So, as you can expect... Oh, no. Oh, God, our axe. Our axe. How could this have happened? All right. It's okay. It's okay, dude. We'll make you another axe. All right, so the tree falls. The coconuts are going to go rolling, unfortunately. But we'll get them. I'm going to get my spear out. Here's a feather. So you can get them when you knock down trees or bird nest or find dead bird. Get a feather and we can make an arrow. But this is what I want. Pick up the coconut. And... Um, Okay, we've got a coconut. Here. This is the one that we want. So coconut water clean. We're going to drink it. And we're going to... Uh, this coconut right here. We're going to go ahead and harvest it. And watch this. So in our backpack, in the food tab, when you harvest it, you break apart the coconut, and then there's coconut shell with flesh. And you can eat this to get fat. And then you have a bowl left over that you can use at your fire to uh, make potions. Like, you can make um, teas and stuff. But you can also just have water. Now, this guy right here, um, this is a green coconut. So it's not ripe yet, uh, unfortunately. So we can't use that. But we do have one coconut which we can start to use. Now, if we could find another coconut, we'd be in great shape. You need one coconut that you don't break apart so that you can have a craft, like a canteen, basically, a way to carry water. And then you want the other one that you crack open so that you can not only eat it to get the fat, but also uh, boil water. So we're going to be keeping our eyes peeled for, you know, more coconuts if possible. But I'm really thrilled that we at least found one coconut to start things off. And let me just continue my amazing quest. My quest to uh, not get bit by a snake, not find a jaguar. Not find an ant mound. I'll take that nasty mushroom. But we are looking for the yellow flowers so that we can secure uh, a bandage or two to keep ourselves alive in case the unthinkable happens. All right. And I'm just kind of pressing on this way. And you need to kind of keep in your mind, like, just a visual or an idea of where your 
campsite is. And for us, it's back this way. We just need to curl back this way. And go down the hill. And we'll be there. Now, you can look out for any more coconuts to see if there's any lying around or up in the sky. You can... We're looking... Here we go. Finally. Let's get a bandage. Let's get like 10 bandages. All right. And so we chop that up. And then we're going to go to uh, the crafting panel. We're going to open up this part of our backpack. We're going to craft with this. And we're going to craft all three of the leaf bandages that we can make. Just to get some bandages rolling. Phenomenal. Okay. And then we're going to hold this. Take it. Hold this. Take it. We've got some rope. Okay. I feel good about that. Let's get the spear out just in case anything funky ha Here's a dead bird. So when you find these dead birds, you can just take it and then... It's weird, but you have this dead parrot, and you can expand, and you can harvest it. And you get feathers and some macaw meat. So we got macaw meat that we can eat, and we get feathers. So it's great. Don't ask how it died, why it died. It's dead. And the feathers we can use to actually make arrows, which will uh, put us in a position to be much more capable hunters when we get to drop on things because the bow is actually pretty sweet. Alright, and... I am going to say, you know what? We got bandages. We got a coconut. Oh, we also got, looks like, some leeches. Indeed. Rotate that leg. There's another one. All right. Good. Tremendous. So what we can do now is... Let me look at my... Yeah, you see how low we are on fat still, right? Right. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up our backpack and I'm going to go food and we're just going to um, eat that and we get five carbs and ten fats and I'm going to eat that one too and uh, didn't fill up our fats completely but really, really helped us and now we, you think that the shells disappear but they actually just leave the food tab and they go someplace else. I'm thirsty. I'm going to drink. I have enough of the... Uh, No, bad idea. I didn't get any kind of uh, kickback from that. But we had the mushrooms anyway, which is why you keep those on hand. And now, if we go back to our base, right up here, um, our fire has finally extinguished, which is sad. And when your fire extinguishes... Uh, Okay, first of all, there's an obsidian stone. This spawns here every day or so. So just take that. You got that. And then you get charcoal, which take all the charcoal because it's great. You can add it to the fire to just instantly make a much better fire. Uh, or make your fire last longer is what I should say. And we're going to go to our notebook. And we need to go over to the fire and select it and just kind of put it there um, and create. And then, bam. And then we can um, go to our backpack and go to the fire tab. Use this baby. And then what we're going to do is uh, throw in these dried leaves. We have plenty of stamina, so this will happen. It just takes a while. And then we ignite it. And the fire is rolling. And then now what you can do is go into your backpack... And you can pick up one of these babies, and you can just insert the bowl right there. And then you, once it's there, if we get a coconut that can transport water, what we can do is throw that on there. And 
um, dump the water in there. Make sure you're putting it in there, not putting out your fire. And you will boil it, and then you won't have to worry about contamination at all. Now the game is just messing with us. It dropped a green coconut. You hit it with an axe. Okay, so I apologize. Um, I completely forgot about that, that you can just hit it with an axe to break off the shell. I was thinking it wasn't ready yet. How about that? No, you just hit it with your axe, and then now um, we've got a coconut full of water. And what we want to do is we want to actually craft with this, and we want to combine it with rope, and this makes a coconut bite on. Now, it's going to empty out the water that's in there, but if we make this... We now have a coconut bidon in our backpack. I'm going to go in and show you what it looks like. That was just a complete mental lapse on my part that all you need to do is hit that green coconut with an axe to get the coconut inside. Well, I made life a lot harder, but look at that. We have two more coconuts right by our house. So the jungle giveth and the jungle taketh away. We got there. Now what I'm going to do is open up now our... When you go by the water, okay... You can open up your backpack, and then you could select the Bidon. You just push X to pick it up, and then you'll notice on the water there's this, this like icon for submerging the coconut that appears. And if I put it right here, and then I push X, I will fill it up. And this is filled with 40, um, you know, hydration counts and two parasites. But if I run back over here. What we can do is just jump, and then you got to be really careful when you're doing this. But I'm going to go to my backpack, and I'm going to go to this. And do not put insert for this bite on. If you put insert, that means pour it over the fire and extinguish it. We don't want that. You pick it up, and then you just hover it over the bowl, and then you push X. And then you'll see the bowl just fills up with water. And then once this ticks through... You, ne you will have um, a coconut bowl with clean water that you can go ahead and drink. So, how about that? You can pick this up. You can put it in here. And now you've got clean water. And then you can throw this on there. And you can boil up some more water. So now, uh, we have learned how to get bowls how to get bidons, how to find coconuts, how to die to a jaguar, how to get water, how to boil water, how to actually use um, green coconuts. It's wild that the expand option, it's just like destroyed. Um, but we just need to get it. And then, there we go. And now we're going to craft this because we want some more bowls. Or not craft, I'm sorry. Uh, here, take this away. Coconut with water. Uh, I'm going to actually harvest it. And then we can go ahead and eat that. And eat that. And now we've got two more bowls. And if you look at our breakdown, we are doing amazing work. Now this one right here, we should probably just... Um, just take this. And we have some clean water in our backpack. Awesome. All right, everybody. So now we got water. Uh, we got some fats. And we're rocking and rolling. I hope you're still finding this guide to be helpful and fun. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.